Hello, I'm Leona Dooley, and this is Ebony Ivy and Time in the Kitchen. And this week in the kitchen, I'm back at home, and I'm ready to prepare some great dishes. Now, this week, my focus is on preparing extra dishes for my daughter's family. Now, let me tell you why. No, she's not sick. That's not, you know, you, we think about doing that when someone's ill or if they're having a baby, but we're not thinking about that at all. We are going to be preparing dishes for her and her family because she's in school. She's working a full-time job and she's also, both of them are, and she's going to school. So she has classes, she has homework, she has the three kids. They are just full of, they have a full schedule of everything. And I think somewhat, you know, they have to be somewhat overwhelmed. I remember when, back almost 40 years ago, when I went back to school, two babies, husband was tra working and traveling, I'm working and going to school. Oh my goodness. I had bags that were sagging down to here. I was exhausted. I needed help. Now, did I have sense enough to ask for help? No. So, she doesn't either. They don't either. They can handle it. Oh, we got this. Well, I know they do, but I love them and I hate to see them tired and exhausted. So we are going to prepare some additional dishes that I can take to them and uh, they can choose to either have it, all, have it that evening or they can put it in their freezer and have it another day if they have something planned. But I want some ready meals that they will have that they can just put together when they come home, or they can, uh, if it's a crock pot, they can put it in the crock pot in, before they go to work. And by the time they get home and the kids get home from school, the house smells wonderful. And the, the two adults can go, that's one less thing that we have to do for tonight. Because you know how it is when you have little ones, you've got homework, projects, food to eat, lunches to fix, bath time, laundry, and the list just goes on. So, what do we mothers do? Well, Mimi is going to cook in the kitchen and see what she can do to help lighten the load. Let's show the love to someone this week who probably doesn't even know they need it. Okay? All right. So, Happy week. Have a blessed week. This is going to be wonderful. We sprung forward. Can you hear it? It's spring. Spring is coming. It's right around the corner and I can't wait. Have a wonderful week. It's planning day, and we're gonna take a look at our menu plan for this week. Now, we know, if we look right out the window, you can see right out my, my window, my kitchen window, that the sun is shining. In fact, we're supposed to have a lovely week, and um, the temperature should continue to warm up. And I think what it's gonna do is to just continue to put me in this springy mood. And so I am so looking for, forward to warmer temperatures as I'm sure you are as well. So without further ado, we're going to get down and take a look at our menu plan for this week and also a little look at our grocery list. Now, I did some shopping in my freezer. And what that does is that for me, is that it gives me a chance to keep things rotating in the refrigerator. So every month or so, or about at least every couple of months, or even 
depending upon, you know, how it's going, I may actually do it by seasons. But at the end of that season, I go through and make sure I've, I've, I've kind of finished off most of the things that were in the freezer. And then I try to start fresh. And so um, I'm at that point where I'm ready to start eliminating most of what's in the freezer, making sure that I haven't pushed some meat or something back into the freezer and forget about it. And then I end up actually having to toss it out. So it's always good. Freezers are great, but it's always good to make sure that you're rotating your inventory so that nothing gets old. If you buy chicken, make sure that you put it in one place, but make sure you use up the chicken that you already have and uh, the, the chicken that has been in the freezer a longer time. So I've done that. I know what I have. And in fact, I popped out um, some uh, meat earlier in the um, over the weekend, I can't think, uh, earlier in the weekend, and uh, so that I could kind of look and say, okay, I've got this, 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 and this, and these are the things that I'm going to make uh, recipes from. So we're going to look at where we're going. Now, actually, this week, we are going to uh, look at one particular dish in, in mind, uh, that I'm thinking about. It's in my head. I know what I want it to look like. And uh, I've been doing a little research on sauces and those kind of things. So I'm going to be looking at uh, being able to create something a little bit different, something lighter. And, you know, when you start to think about spring, you start to think about citrusy things. Let's bring more lemons into it, more limes into it, more uh, oranges into what we're cooking. And so um, you just want to lift the taste. And it's not that you're getting away from the warm, comforting food. It's just you want a little extra pizzazz to it. And sometimes you even want it to, to look a certain way just because you want to lighten and brighten. So that's what we're going to do. So stay with me. Let's look at the menu plan for uh, March 11th through the 17th. I already know pretty much what my week is looking like, and so I'm able to uh, really give you a good idea. The plan is to have uh, a skillet chicken, and I'm going to cook that in my uh, cast iron skillet. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to uh, have some fresh green beans. And the difference with this is that everything is going to be cooked um, right there in the skillet. And uh, we're instead of having a heavy gravy, we're going to have what's called a lemon tahini sauce. Doesn't that sound light? Now, who would have thought that tahini would have made a great sauce? Well, probably if you're from uh, a European country, another continent, tahini's big there. And so I had not tried it before other than in hummus. And that's usually when I bought tahini, I was usually making hummus. But to think about it as a sauce over chicken and green beans, I just hadn't put that together. But this week, we are going to do that. Then, on Tuesday, I'm going to do uh, oven-grilled chops. I had some chops in the freezer. Um, I'm going to take those out. And my plan is to do it with cooked apples and some biscuits. Now, of course, this can change. And um, if I find that uh, something with our schedule changes, the chops are definite. Uh, the biscuits, you know, I had that bread day, so the biscuits are definite. I'm not, you know, we'll see about the cooked apples and whether or not we decide to uh, get into the apples. But we'll take a look at that. My plan for Wednesday, I have chicken. I have quite a bit of chicken. And what I'm going to do is to put chicken into the crock pot. And I am going to fill that crock pot up with uh, liquid and vegetables. And I am going to prepare a rich chicken broth. Now, in this case, of course, it gives me a lot of cooked chicken. 
but the reality of it is what I really want is the 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 great broth that is going to come off of this chicken with the vegetables I'm literally going to toss the vegetables they're going to go in, in down the drain but I'm going to keep the chicken I'm going to chop it up and I'm going the first batch of chicken I'm going to make a chicken noodle soup you'll see I had pot pie here just because of the fact that uh, I have some biscuit dough, and that's not to say that the pot pie might be resurrected later on in the week because I do, I, I will have quite a bit of chicken. But, uh, we're gonna do chicken noodle soup with some veggies. Uh, for Thursday, I have some friends who are gonna be eating dinner with us, and we're gonna keep it light because they're gonna be coming in, it's gonna be a little late. So because of that, I want them to have something that will be enough to uh, warm their tummies, but yet and still not make it so heavy that when they lay down to rest, that it's just too much. So we're going to keep it light with a nice, pretty tuna salad. Now, Friday night is all is usually, I say usually, unless the grandkids are around, but typically Friday night is our uh, dinner and a movie night for, for my hubby and I. So that's the plan for Friday. Saturday night, we're going to do burgers, just simple hamburgers and keep it moving. Sunday, we have already planned dinner with some friends. And, you know, this is kind of cool. And this is something that you may want to keep in mind. Um, if your children are older and they have their own families, if you're not all getting together as a family on Sundays, then you may opt to find couples to have dinner with on Sunday. Um, it's just fun to be able to um, go out with another couple, to sit and have nice conversation over a nice dinner. And especially for dinner, you don't have to cook. And plus, it gives, a, gives me a chance on Sunday to focus on whatever the menu plan is going to be and I can do that if there's something special or want to do some baking or whatever. I can do that on Sunday afternoon and then go to dinner. So it's nice. So this week, because, you know, the heaviest part of your uh, shopping budget is meat. Meat, fish, and poultry. But for this week, because I had most of that already in the freezer, look at this brief shopping list this is all i need for the entire week now i did decide just because they're on sale that i'm going to pick that that i will pick up some extra chicken thighs i go through chicken thighs like crazy so i will be using those all right so grocery list check we're ready to go for the week so let's get to cooking this is what happens when you spend way too much time at Walmart. I bought the Reeves, and I'm going to take you in a little closer so you can see. This was their little uh, wreath that they had. Very, um, just very budget-friendly little wreath, and it had eggs. This is what it looks like all the way around. And uh, they sold the larger eggs separately, and they sold the... Uh, the blue and the, the uh, uh, tan uh, ribbon. I just happened to have a little black and white. I thought it might kick it off a little different. And uh, so this is how it turned out. And uh, I thought it turned out pretty. Since they were not gigantic, and in fact, they're probably no more than probably 14 inches across, I thought, okay, well, right here on my pantry doors, this will look very nice. So, voila! Happy spring! I thought, for today, I'm going to prepare some biscuits. And what I'm going to do with these biscuits, I'm going to put them together, I'm going to... Um, probably cook a few but most of them are going to go in the freezer and that way I can pull them out as needed it would also be something that uh, if I have something that's 
needs a biscuit or a biscuit would be good with when I'm taking things over to my daughter. I can give it to her. You know, with the thing with the biscuits, with these particular biscuits, they don't have to rise. So I can put them up and um, they will be just fine. So in this bowl, I have uh, two, I have four cups of um, flour. I have two tablespoons of baking powder. I have a half teaspoon of baking soda and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. I am going to add in two cups of milk, a tablespoon of vinegar, and uh, a tablespoon of sugar is already in here. Now I know, a little bit of sugar. Do you have to have sugar? No. But what it does is that it allows those biscuits to brown well and uh, they look beautiful when they come out of the oven. Now, the vinegar just kind of gives everything a good taste and uh, it's one of those, it's kind of like the unami that's in the background. This is a very easy recipe. So, I am going to grate a stick of frozen butter into this mix and then start to mix it. Then I'm going to I also have my milk in the freezer so it can be nice and cold. I want everything that I add to this to be icy. And uh, once I've done that, then I'll give it a good mix because you don't want to over mix it. I'm going to put it into some plastic, like a disc in plastic. I'm going to sit it into the refrigerator and let it get good and cold. Then I'll bring it back out and start to um, actually make the biscuits. So stay with me. Well, it's time to continue the biscuits. And what we're going to do, you'll see these have been sitting in the refrigerator. And I'm going to unroll them. And what I'm going to do, I'm only going to cook half. Because, and maybe not even that many. But I'm just going to cook enough for dinner. And if you remember, we were talking about earlier whether or not we could store the dough. So I'm going to try that for myself because no one knew the answer to that. And uh, so I'm go we're going to be a test subject for that. So I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut half. So we're going to work with half. You see how it's firmed up. I've got plenty of flour down on the surface. And I'm going to get my, get my roller ready. There's nothing like fresh bread. So when you can do fresh bread, that's the best way always to go. So I've got the sides turned up, get it back secure. And I'll probably ziplock that. So I'm just gonna sit that off to the side for now. Now, so let me get the roller. We're gonna roll just enough for tonight's dinner. Flour on the surface, and I'm going to actually when they go in the refrigerator, they are just so much easier to roll. And I have a cast iron pan that I'm going to use to bake them. Now, what I like to use when I am preparing these is a glass, in this case, a cup. Now I'm gonna use that cup, and when you do this, you're going straight down. That's it. It's a second pan. It's actually a larger uh, cast iron skillet. I just pulled it out of the oven. I'm doing the same thing to it that I did to the other taking that same knob of butter and I'm rubbing it on the top so that they'll stay nice and soft. They'll be soft and buttery. And you'll see tonight with the dinner, it's gonna be so good. There we go.
Okay, finish that little knob of butter up. Yummy. Dinner is going to be great. Let's leave the skin side up. If there's any juice that's left in the in the plate, make sure you add all that in because that's flavor. Yeah, I'm gonna put these down and add the vegetables that are left in, on the plate and the juice. Mm. And I'm gonna let this cook 15 minutes. And then dinner will be served. <coughs> now I'm going to sprinkle on a little zest. Sprinkle it around. I've added in the lemon. So all of that's in. How pretty. Alrighty, everything's hot, everything's done, and dinner is served. It's bubbling. This is going to be served over biscuits, but of course, we could have served it over rice. You'll see that the sauce has gotten thick and uh, is just perfect. I had never thought of using tahini as a thickener for a sauce but let me tell you it's really good and uh, look at how nice that is so between that the onions the lemons it's going to give it a fresh citrusy taste i think we're going to enjoy this so enjoy dinner tonight Well, guys, you know what? Dinner is served. Ready. It's colorful. It's going to be delicious. We're going to serve it over hot rice. And woo, we are ready to eat. Well, I'm hoping you can see. I have a bowl of rice. It is nice and hot and steamy. I am going to serve up my vegetables, the pork chop, the pork chop, this is my plate, and my vegetables all around the side, everything is nice and grilled. Mercy. Okay, there's mine. And I think Papa will take care of the rest of this. I'm going to take a little bit of his, his broccoli. But anyway, we're going to, uh, that one's ready. I'll serve his up as soon as he gets downstairs. Let me give it a quick taste just to make sure, because you know we want to check it before we give it to him. Let's see. Oh, yeah. This is good, guys. So, dinner is served. Have a great night. Lots of love.